Hey, I'm Slash, and uh, I'm here representing BAE Audio, and uh, just here to say that some of the best studio gear around, so you should check it out. It's like life, really, isn't it? You're always looking for the sort of exciting top end, right. and the, uh, <laughs> the nice warm bottom end, to coin a phrase. You have to tell me, I keep forgetting, what does BAE stand for? I thought it was best audio ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We had a lack of, I think we had one ten set, real 1073 one in the room. And so uh, that wasn't going to be enough. Uh, and, uh, and so when you came along, you really kind of, you really saved us because we were able to get that vocal sound, we were able to get that guitar sound that's so classically... Uh, English and mm -hmm. so classically, you know, rock. Uh, I mean, that is a sound that goes all the way back to, as far as I can remember to the records that I like to listen to. I will say that BAE is, is absolutely the thing that's kind of, um, I don't trust all this stuff. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I know with, with the BAE stuff, if my guitar is not sounding right, it's usually the guitar or the amp or something about the way the mics are placed. I never have any doubts about the mic prees. Just a feeling, you know, when you kind of turn a knob, you, you kind of expect it to act a right. certain way. And the studio subsequently replaced them with the BAE 1073s. And first of all, the reliability factor was there. They had no issues whatsoever. But the tone of the EQ, to me, to my ear, really, really sounded so much similar to the original. Wow, well that's... The uh, bottom end is a sort of magical thing with a 1073 mm -hmm. where you can just push it and push it and it just takes on a, a, a character. It kind of almost compresses itself in a nice way. Yeah. And, and the new ones, to my ear, did that. But man, you can just EQ for days with this thing and it just, it just brings it to life. Well, I mean, congratulations, man! Thank really, you, thank you. It's really for someone like me. It's a, uh, it's it's like every time I put my hands on this thing to use it, it's like every day is Christmas. I think people's ears are acclimated to that wider spectrum now. Mm -hmm. that, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. That, you know, more than 12k. There's so much more oomph. That stuff has really got that sort of. Uh, it's got a great attack and a great, but also a great squishiness. That body. Like, yeah, that body is there, you know. But, uh, it, it really is kind of, for me, a, a nice melding of an old school understanding. Right. But with, with a little bit of modern finish work on it. You know, you don't want to have too much stuff. You just right. want to keep the stuff you use. And if I was thinning down my studio, that would be the, well, that would be the last thing to go. What's great with this is you can play around with it and get a tone that you know isn't going to conflict with the other guitar parts yeah, the tone. Parts, yeah. And then if you start playing with the stereo mix as well, place that guitar just a little bit over there and that guitar there and the tones are slightly different, then you've got like a great, you know, beginning of a, a record. I see people that, that say if they have questions on forums and reader thing, they'll, they'll call uh, BAE and Marcus, got a reputation of speaking with people and finding the right piece of gear for them and all the musicians I know that, that use this stuff, including Matt Sorum, who actually turned me on to, to BAE, um, <clears throat> is able to work with Mark and, and develop things and pieces of gear, uh, uh, choose the right piece of gear so you end up with something that can be used for a lot of different purposes. Um, and this stuff I use it for acoustic guitar, vocals when I'm tracking any Billy Idol stuff here. It just sounds perfect on his voice bass guitar, it just, it's so musical and, um, and it's, um, uh, you know, it's just, as I said, it's, it's got an inherent characteristic about it that sounds like the records that I grew up loving, so um, makes me a better player. So. I'm checking out the DLB and the DMP, and I'm RCB, Randy Bachman. She looked at me with the big brown eyes. I said, you ain't seen nothing yet. But my baby, you just ain't seen nothing yet. Here's something that you're never gonna forget. But my baby, you just ain't seen nothing yet.